Selective breeding has made the fruit we eat so full of sugar, Melbourne Zoo has had to wean its animals off it. At the zoo, keepers found fruit heavy diets were making some animals obese and rotting their teeth. Here's a summary of the article. Selective breeding has made the fruit we eat so full of sugar, Melbourne Zoo has had to wean its animals off it. The issue is the cultivated fruits have been genetically modified to be much higher in sugar content than their natural, ancestral fruits, says Dr. Michael Lynch, the zoo's head vet. Despite fruit's sugar content, increasing your fruit intake does not increase your risk of type 2 diabetes. Fruits contain important nutrients, and fruit's natural sugars are very different from the harmful free sugars in soft drinks. The zoo's experience is interesting for what it tells us about how agriculture has changed the fruits we eat. Fruit is a highly desired item because of its sugar content. So many animals, especially primates and red pandas, they will selectively eat the fruit but not other elements. Like children, red pandas would quite happily eat nothing but bamboo and fruit, Dr. Lynch says, missing out on a range of important nutrients. This post received a score of 51,499, with an upvote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Greater than like children, red pandas would quite happily eat nothing but bamboo and fruit, Dr. Lynch says, missing out on a range of important nutrients. This doctor may have spent more time around red pandas than children. Still, if doctors are recommending it, I'm going to start feeding bamboo to my children. And just like that, another MLM scheme is born. Nor, MLM people don't listen to doctors. But they do take random quotes out of context. Children would quite happily eat nothing but bamboo, Dr. Lynch says, a range of important nutrients, a doctor approves. It must be true. Stop right now before you create a new stupid movement. I've already had two distant relatives call me asking if I'm interested in a business opportunity. And it involves high nutritious bamboo for children. We did it. We ruined fruit. Your next, vegetables. That's already happening due to increased CO2 levels in the atmosphere, which is driving up sugar production in fruits and vegetables and driving down the production of other nutrients like protein and vitamins. Opening square bracket. Edit, woot. Thanks for the gold, kind stranger. What the fuck are we doing sad face? Killing ourselves. Slowly. Softly. Effectively. But profitably. For who? I ain't getting no millions. Time to go for a visit to the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. Time to hit refresh on the plant life. Okay, I'm going to hit F5 everyone. Nice knowing you. No, that's quick save. I'm living in a PowerPoint slideshow, help. Alt plus F4. Actual headline is atrocious. Quote, zoo won't panda to taste, says fruit's too sweet for its monkey menu end quote, almost like it was written by a fucking redditor. Reads like our subreddit simulator. And yet some people blend them and sieve out chunks and pulp and call it a health option. If you want to giggle at something, go check out the borderline criminal added sugars in smoothie places like Tropical Smoothie Cafe, where they add 200 plus calories worth of turbinado sugar to nearly every smoothie. You can get it without, but you need to request it. But it's raw sugar. It's healthy. You joke, but I know too many people who think natural equals healthy. It's absurd. You know what else is natural? Bears. Still not good for us. And cancer. And arsenic. And emus. Australia had to fight a war against those natural bastards. And still lost. Wait, dot the Australians fought and lost a war against emus and bunnies. I might need to change my approximation of how badass they are. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.